Hey, 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 everybody. I'm super excited to be here. Um, my name is Stacy Bowen, and I have been with Color Street almost two years. It'll be two years, I think, in a week and a half. So I'm super excited to be coming live to you guys and sharing you guys my top 11 um, tips for selling and overcoming obstacles. So a little history about myself. I've been in direct sales for, hmm, I would say about five years or so, um, off and on with different companies and stuff. But I really found my niche with Color Street. And um, I was, for the first year that I was in it, I was number five for the entire company in sales. And I had only been with it for four months when they pulled the numbers for that. And then for the second year that I was in with Color Street, I was the number one for the company. So I'm hoping to keep that rank this year. I don't know. We'll see. It's been kind of a tough duty. You know, we've got a lot of amazing and wonderful people in our business here. And I'm super excited to be giving you guys these tips. So make sure you guys have got pen and paper out because you're going to need it. Um, so we're going to get started with tip number one. Always be real. Always be authentic. And always be you. No matter what you do. So what I mean by that is don't hide behind somebody else's post. Don't repost somebody else's thing. Don't make their post your post. Be real. Be authentic. You know, as crazy and kooky as it is. I mean, I'm coming live to you right now and I've got a massive cold sore on my lip. Oh, well, right? Here we are. We're doing it. So be authentic. Be you. Be real. That's my number one tip that I can honestly give to you guys. My number two is social media is your oyster, you guys. Okay, what I mean by that is don't throw everything all into one basket, okay? Here's the thing. Is your account that you have like with Facebook, with Instagram, with um, YouTube, with Snapchat, with TikTok, yeah, the latest and greatest, right, TikTok? Um, all of those things, who are those accounts owned by? They're not owned by you. They're owned by those companies, right? So if you do all of your social media on one platform, what's going to happen? And if, and if your account gets shut down, where are all your customers? Where are all of your connections? Where, of all, where are all of your people at? They're going to be gone, right? So the biggest thing is you, wanna, you want to get people's email addresses. You own your email, you guys. So get those email addresses, okay? Also, utilize all these platforms. Become, I did actually a poll in my own team page this last week because I was looking at different ways, you know, how to train you guys and give you guys some pointers and stuff. And one of the things that really struck out to me as I did one simple poll, I asked my team, how many of you had Instagram? And surprisingly enough, out of a team of almost 75, only 10 of them had Instagram. That is 65 opportunities right there for other ladies to embark on, to get your product out there, to get your name out there, to get your brand out there. So utilize those platforms. I know some of them are scary. Some of them mean different things like with Facebook. You know, us older people, we like Facebook. We like to go through the news feed. We like to read the drama, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> we, we all do, right? And so Instagram, that's more of an instant picture shot. Here's an image. No drama with it. It just goes, right? Um, Snapchat, that's a really, like, quick, very, very quick. And I'm going to tell you, as an older person, I'm having a hard time learning Snapchat. But we're going to learn. Um, YouTube, that's another great platform to utilize upload training videos, upload application videos, upload all of those things. There's a multitude of things that you can upload. Upload an afternoon of you playing a card game with your family. Simple as that. Um, I don't know how many times my son actually goes out and watches what he calls toy videos. And they literally are of other families playing games. I mean, what? And they've got millions of hits. Um, Pinterest, it's phenomenal on Pinterest. All you do is save images and people look at it and save it to their walls. And you get your name out there. You get noticed. Very, very simple. Um, TikTok, I'm still learning that. I'm totally brand new to that. So, But I know that that's an up and coming thing. Um, also, stories. Please, please, please use your Facebook stories. Use your Instagram stories. They are there for you. People... They thrive on that instant gratification. They thrive on that instant, let me push, let me, you know, swipe, all that other stuff. They don't want to sit there and, 
you know, go through a long video. They don't want to sit there and read a long story that goes with a, a still image. They want that instant, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And they swipe. So utilize those stories. If you are not using stories, use stories. I challenge you, post one story a day. It will change so much of what people see from you. And the other thing I want to talk about with social media, make your profiles public, guys. <laughs> I know there's a lot of creepers out there. I get it. But you know what? Every um, platform that is out there has a block Thing. You can block those creepers. You don't have to. You can remove comments. You can block them. You don't need to see them. So, but make your profile public because I will tell you as a person and I do research and I look at other people's profiles, if you have your account as private, I don't want to get to know you. I don't even want to check you out. I mean, that's just where it's at. And so you want to make sure that your platform is public. If you are posting a post that you don't want anybody else to see, you've got two options. Either you can change the settings of that individual post so that only your friends see that, or you can just not post it at all because if it's that private, then maybe it shouldn't be on Facebook to begin with or Instagram or whatever. Okay, number three, our tip number three, make friends. Social media is all about making friends, guys. It's about reaching out and getting to know other people. It's not hiding behind the, okay, I've got my phone. I'm going to do my nail post. Oh, everybody needs to buy it. No, that's not what it's about. It's about interacting. It's about making that social connection with people. It's about saying, hey, I saw Johnny play baseball last week and how did he do? You now have taken that particular post and you made that post about the other person and they're going to be more inclined to try to get to know, like, and trust you. So you want to be making friends on a, on a daily basis. So number three was making friends on social media. Interact with people. If people are going to leave a comment for you on your post, be respectful, comment back, but then take it a step further. Here's a little ninja trick for you guys. Go to their wall pick out the first one or two posts that they've done recently and comment on it because not only now they're like, Oh, she's watching me. She, she saw my post. What am I going to do? You're going to start a relationship. You're going to start a connection. You're going to start a relate, you know, a friendship there. At that point, you might want to take that relationship and move it over to Facebook messenger or Instagram messenger. And then you can talk more about, you know, the business opportunity, the selling and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Number four, cannot stress this enough. This is one of the big, big things. Okay. Go live, go live, go live. <laughs> Always go live. So Facebook and Instagram are really, they're two major, major things with each of those platforms. And I know that they're the most popular platforms that everybody uses. And the two big things is stories and lives. That's what those two platforms love to see. So a live, you know, something simple. I mean, I'm sitting here. I'm just chilling, right? Talking to you guys. I can sit here and easily talk about, you know, it's really important to go live and to do these things. I'm not even talking about the fact that I'm putting on a sample. But people are watching because you're creating that curiosity, right? So you're like, oh, you know... So I'm, you know, I'm talking about going live and what the tops, you know, selling and overcoming obstacles is and stuff. And here you are, you're watching me put on the sample, right? And you're, you're, you're sub or, you know, like indirectly showing them how to put on a sample without even like being salesy and being pitchy and all that kind of stuff. Cause it does happen, right? You're kind of afraid that if you post too much about nails, you're going to be too salesy, too pitchy. So right there, I just applied a nail and I didn't even really talk about it. Okay, number five, message people daily. This is so, so important to do this um, because it does help your algorithms. It does boost them up. So what I typically do is a great way to do this is um, message, instead of writing on people's walls, happy birthday, message them. Message them a private message. And I either will do a video for them or I will do a voice memo for them because it's more personal that way. Also, if you have a lot of friends, like I've maxed out my friend list and your friend list can, is at 5,000. If you've maxed that out and you send a personal message and let's just say it's pre-typed, you know, happy birthday, hope you have a wonderful day, blah, blah, blah. But it's all the same and you message all those people that have birthdays that day, Facebook might um, put that as a spam and so you may be blocked. 
So you want to, how to avoid that, here's another ninja trick, is go ahead and do a voice recording or um, do a little video for them. Very simple. It takes, you know, you could even do a boomerang kind of thing. I mean, it's so, so simple. But I like to message people either the day before their birthday or the day after their birthday because on your birthday, you're getting hundreds of messages, right? And it's hard to stay on top of all these people that are messaging you. So if you message them a day before or a day after, it's more personal that way. You can start a conversation that way. Also, by messaging people on their birthday, it also allows you to kind of clean up your Facebook friends, especially all the accounts that are inactive, because those actually do hurt your algorithm. So it's a great way to clean that up. And, you know, like if you delete five friends today, then add five friends the same day. So, you know, it's very simple to do that. Okay, number six, join groups that are not color straight. What I mean by that is I'm going to just use Rachel Hollis's group because I know all of you guys have probably heard about Rachel Hollis, right? She has a group called Made For More, and there is well over 100,000 people in that group. So I'm not saying go to these groups and poach people. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is go to these groups, comment on their posts, build that know, like, and trust. Because then what's going to happen is you're going to take that conversation to Facebook Messenger like we talked about before, and you're going to develop that relationship. And eventually the topic will come up as it always does. What do you do for a living? There's your way to talk about your business, not in a salesy, pitchy way. Okay, and you never know what could come out of it. I've actually done that for quite a while, and I you would be surprised at how many customers I have gotten because of that. So, and it also makes you feel like you're part of a community too um, that's not necessarily all color street. Okay, so pick something that you're interested in. It could be anything from self development to hey, you love Pink Panther. Who knows, right? You love Disney, if that's a thing for you. Um, if you're into, you know, keto diets or if you're into um, clothing, fashion design. So pick something that, you know, goes with what you're interested in and comment on it. I mean, we've got a golden doodle. I could be a part of a golden doodle club, you know, kind of thing or a group and comment on that and develop those relationships. Social media is really all about developing relationships. It's not necessarily all about selling. Okay, number seven is create curiosity posts. So you want to create the curiosity, not say, hey, I'm, I'm here. I need, I, need, I need to make my goal this month. Can you buy from me? I personally probably wouldn't buy from you if you're like that. That's just me. And I'm sure that that goes for a lot of other people. So oftentimes what I will do is I will go ahead and post a selfie like this, right? But I make sure that my nails are being shown so that people can see them. But I talk about the book. I don't necessarily talk about the nails, but I do make it so that the nails are very noticeable. Um, and that's kind of creating a curiosity post, okay? You can create curi curiosity posts on your walls. In your stories, you can do um, a lead up to um, like a sequential story. Those are a lot of fun to do. Um, I don't have a problem with any of you guys following me. That's totally fine. You can follow my stories and you can see how I do things. That's totally fine. Um, I probably will not add any of you to my VIP group. That's just for my customers. So, um, but create that curiosity post, um, and try to do that at least once a week. Okay. Um, number eight samples. They're everything, you guys. That is what drives this business. So I do a couple of things. Number one was, is I just got done when I was talking to you guys earlier, I was just applying, do you know, a, um, a toozy, right? If you are in line at a grocery store, if you are in line at the post office, if you're in line wherever, pull this little handy dandy thing out, right? And just sit there and put it on. You would be so surprised as to how many people will look over and be like, oh, what, what is she doing? what's happening here? And they'll start asking you questions right then and there. So keep these babies on you. Go ahead and, I mean, even if you stick it on your pinky and you take it off when you get home, so what? You know, you'd be surprised. I sell a lot out of just my handbag by doing that. Um, the other thing is if you don't have sample cards, either buy them from the website that we have, our back office, or make your own. Either way, 
I give these out all the time. I make it a point to give out two of these each and every single day. And I live in a small town, you guys. I really do. I, it's 5,000 people or less. And the only way to get in and out here is by a jet. So I don't have, I can't drive to the next town. So, but samples are everything. If you travel, this is a great idea too. I do this one all the time. And I, what I say on my little note is enjoy your flight. I hope these help to make it a bit more fun. And I put my name. So in here is my sample card, which I already showed you guys. And then our local or our current catalog, whatever that is. And actually this is an old one because this was spring and summer. And then all of my information is on the back so they can get a hold of me. Okay, so this is another great way to get yourself out there because come on, let's face it. We're sitting at a gate at an airport, right? And you got the mom with the three kids running around. She's pulling her hair out and she just wants something that's just for her, right? So this is a great way to connect with people when you're traveling. Okay, number nine, you can have in-person parties or vendor events. Those are amazing and fun to do. And I know there's a lot of different things you can do. You can do, a, you know, a wine night, a sip, you know, sip and dip, you know, nail night. You can do a pool party. You can do something at a coffee shop. You can, I mean, there's so many things. You can do a mommy and daughter night. You can um, have a bunch of your girlfriends over and say, hey, come, let's make some homemade pizza. And then during the um, making of the pizza while it's cooking, you can go ahead and apply nails. And you don't come off as a salesly, I'm going to, you know, push this product down your throat. So it, the product really does sell for itself. It's just a matter of how you present the product to your customers or your friends. Um, number 10, offer more in your VIP groups. More than just nails, offer some value. So for me, I am very much about self-care. So some of the a majority of what my VIP group is about is more about self-care than it is about the nails, to be very honest with you, because people want to feel like whatever they're getting out of that group is of some value. They don't want to be in a group and be like, oh, this is boring. All she's posting is flash sale, this sale, this giveaway, this whatever. You wanna offer some value. So if mom hacks is your thing, if cooking, you know, if you enjoy to cook, share some recipes. If you um, are an artsy fartsy kind of person, share your artwork, share how you can, you know, make things or whatever. There's a multitude of different things that you can do. So think about the groups that you're in that are not Color Street. Why are you in those groups? Is it because they interest you? Yes. Is it because they provide value? Yes. Is it because it's something that attracts you? Yes. So you have to ask yourself, why would a customer buy from me? Why would a customer want to be in my VIP group? What value do I add? And then my last um, number 11 tip is tell stories, you guys. If any of you went to conference, Kendra Hall, she hit it. She hit it out of the park. Um, you have to tell stories. People are intrigued by stories. They want to know more about you. And the reason being is they want to know if they can relate to you, if they can, if they have some commonality with you. So if you are, let's just say a divorced single mom, tell your story. You'd be surprised at how many other people are divorced single mothers out there. If you are a cat lover who has had you know, 14 cats in her life. You would be surprised as to how many other people have had 14 cats in their lives. So think about that. When you go to make a post, you know, like let's just say you're making a post about, I don't know, your son or your daughter having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich at the table. Tell a story about that with the post. Don't just post the picture. Nobody's going to want to be interested in looking at that. So anyway, those are my 11 tips. Now, Two key points, the last two key points. These are kind of bonus ninja tips. Consistency is everything. I cannot stress that enough. If you decide that you're only gonna post one time a week on social media, guess what? Less than 1% of your audience will see you. You need to be posting daily. So the question becomes, how much do you post? And is posting you know, too often too much, right? So my rule of thumb is this, Facebook walls, post two times a day. That's your personal profile Facebook wall, two times a day. Your Facebook VIP group, once a day. 
really simple. One time a day, VIP group, very simple. Your Instagram wall page, your profile page, one time a day. Now, this is really important, you guys. Your stories, your VI or your Facebook stories and your Instagram stories, at least eight stories a day. That is where the bread and the butter is right now. So eight times a day, Facebook stories and Facebook or an Instagram stories. The next thing, the next key point is double check your guys' profiles. Make sure that they are public. Nobody's going to want to buy from you if you are a closed book. I mean, that's really where it comes down to. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I had a really fun time writing all of this stuff up and realizing what I actually do every day. So I invite you guys all to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you guys have any, any questions at all about anything, go ahead and drop them in the comments below and we'll get those answered for you. And Trinity, thank you so much for having me in your group today. I so appreciate it. And I loved doing this training for you guys. Hopefully you guys will rock out 2020 and build your businesses like a boss. Good luck, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.